All righty, all welcome back to the channel. Of course, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And today's show is going to be another jacked up Jack Daniels sauce show. And for those that have been following along on show number one, I did that pulled beef sandwich. Show number two saw those jacked up Jack Daniels ribs. And of course, show number three saw those Jack Daniels chicken wings. And today's show is going to be a Jack Daniels Delmonico Tomahawk Steak. And I am telling you right now, this is one you are definitely going to want to sit down and watch. So look, we've got a lot to get to. What I want to do here is let's turn our attention down to the board and let's start the show. So you may hear me use the phrase Delmonico in this uh, in this video. That is the original recipe that dates back into the 60s and 70s. I am going to use a, a tomahawk steak in this video. I mean, hey, why the hell not? And it all starts the same way. You are going to poke some holes in the steak with a fork, a.k.a. fork your steak, and then grab your kitchen bouquet as you are going to want to go about three tablespoons over the steak. At that point, you are going to flip the steak and repeat the process again poke the steak hit it with about two three tablespoons it doesn't matter you just want to make sure you get good coverage that there is going to go in the house where it is going to sit probably for about an hour hour and a half room temperature and what we are going to do is we are going to turn it every 15 minutes again you want to get good coverage on the steak you want to keep flipping it. You want to keep turning it. After that, we'll head on out to that Masterville Gravity Fed and get that fired up. If I didn't mention it, this is going to be a high heat cook. We are talking up and over 500 Fahrenheit in the Masterville Gravity Fed XT. And as you can see on the board, we have been resting for about an hour and 20 minutes. And I am going to monitor this whole cook with my chef's temp. And real quick, as I set that up, I've got a show announcement on an upcoming show. I am going to be doing a review. This is an unsolicited review. They did not ask me to do this review. I am just going to do a quick unboxing review. And I've got a couple of these pocket pros from Chef Temp to give away. And who better to give them away to than my viewers? So that is going to be probably my next show after this one. And I will give those away on an upcoming live show. So you want to stay tuned to that. And I've got my wireless Chef's Temp all ready to go. And the pit has come up to up and over 500 as mentioned. We will get that steak on. And as you can see, she is definitely cruising. And look, I am going to go three minutes and then I will quarter turn it. But at that three minute mark, I will bring you guys back and we will take a peek. I do believe steak cooks on the Masterville rival right up there with that kettle cook as we are three minutes in. And basically at this point, we are going to quarter turn it, then shut it down. You are going to want to let it go for another three minutes. Remember, we are up and over 500 in the pit. Once that three minutes is up, it is time to flip it. We are six minutes total into the cook. And I got to tell you, we are building one heck of a crust. As we just take a moment or two to admire that tomahawk. And look, before we close it for another three, four minutes or so, let me bring you guys in. Let's get a little bit more of a close up at that crust. And I am definitely jacked up for this. Let's shut it down and maybe in about three, four, five minutes or so, I will bring you guys back and we will take this to the last and final step. Alrighty, here we go. We are reading 115 internal. We are about 17 minutes in or so. Remember, we've got to shoot for that higher medium rare because I got the uh, I got the wife home that is going to uh, that is going to share out on this steak. So what am I supposed to do? I wish I could cook it rare, but oh well, that is what you got to do if you want to stay married for 35 years. That said, we will take a look at this steak and she is definitely looking good. At this point, what I am going to do, because we are closing in on the finish, I am now going to hit it with some dusted. Look, I didn't want to hit it in the beginning because I didn't want it to burn. So I will season up one side now. We will season up as we eat it. And also, I am going to get these steaks JD'd up. We are going to get some Jack Daniels on it, man. Hey, we will pour it on it. Why the hell not? 
and that is definitely looking killer. There is no doubt about it. Let's shut that hood and let's let it go for about another two, three minutes. And then we will finish up this cook. And there you go. We are 20 minutes total into the cook. It is time to get this steak off. And man, oh man, that is definitely looking killer. I think those chicken wings are gonna get a little bit of a run for the money here. As we just take one more close up look at that steak and she is definitely dripping. I will move that on over to the board. I am gonna let it sit there for maybe about 10, 15 minutes or so. At that time, I will bring you back. We will slice it open, do that taste test, talk about it, and close out the show. Alrighty guys, look, so that is it. Start to finish on the Master Bill was gonna be about 20 minutes or so. And I gotta tell you, this is nice and crispy. This is nice and char. If you follow my uh, JD Cooks, if you follow the channel, you know that is the way I like it. And I would say we definitely nailed this. And of course we kept off this, um, we kept this dusted off cause I didn't wanna burn it cause I would know I was going so hot in the pit. We hit it with a little bit at, towards the end of the cook and I can season it up per taste. Of course, the, um, the JD sauce, I had to make up a little bit more for this cook here, no problem there. It is one, two, three, and I may have some more JD cooks coming, so definitely stay tuned to that. And of course, the, uh, the Chef's Temp, again, unsolicited review. This is not gonna be a sponsored video. I wanna uh, do a quick review on this X Pro. I've been using it for years. I feel it is the best out there. And I will also give away a couple of these Pocket Pros. So you definitely, again, unsolicited. They didn't ask me to do it. They don't know I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it because I have some of these to give away. And I want to give them away to you all. Oh, what could you say here? My job is, uh, gets tougher and tougher. This is a uh, little bone I will trim up for Molly. And so, and so we know by my last cook that the uh, chicken wings were number one followed by the ribs, followed by the uh, pulled beef sandwiches. If you've not seen those cooks, I will leave them down in the uh, description. Of course, you're gonna wanna check them out. Alrighty, and here we go. Usually, I'm just gonna go right down the middle. I mean, you know how, guys, you know how I play. And that is perfect. And again, this, uh, this recipe, um, the Delmonico, uh, well, this was done at a Delmonico steak. I probably mentioned that during the, um, during the cooking process. It, 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 that kitchen bouquet or whatever it is called, it seeps down into the meat. I am telling you, it is incredible. It just, you, you can see where that, that, that kitchen bouquet kind of seeps in there. And of course, this was a high heat cook, but we got to see how we did. Let's rip a couple slices. Of course, we're going to want to get these a little bit dusted down. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And of course, we got to get the uh, JD sauce on there. I'm going to give you my opinion and I am going to rate out this cook compared to the other ones and cheers. I love this recipe. I, like I said, I've been eating it for years. So guys, these are going to go even with the chicken wings as um, it has to, man, as tops on the board. That is it, man. That is going to close out this show. Appreciate all you guys watching. Remember, down in the description, you will find everything you need. Of course, my Patreon and YouTube join members. I don't mention those guys enough, but I certainly love them. They really help out the show because, you know, a lot of this food I got to pay for. I don't get all this food for nothing. Uh, this steak was about 35 40 bucks, so it certainly helps me. And YouTube has definitely not been the end all lately. It's been a struggle, so I appreciate all the support I get from you guys. Again, my name is Tommy, right down here, and that is Molly down there. And until next time, we will see you soon.